for the first time you do this exhibition about doodling and scribbling in art history it's fantastic and uh, i wanted to know what is your what was your aim about this exhibition to propose an exhibition on scribbling and doodling was um, a way not to define exactly in a close category uh, these uh, concepts but more uh, to give a sense of how the process of scribbling and doodling uh, was working uh, from the margins uh, inside the artistic creations throughout um, time from the Renaissance until uh, the contemporary period. And we see that during the Renaissance there's a big activity like that, right? We managed to put together uh, an amount of uh, uh, scribbles and doodles that can be found at the margin of artworks for example behind the paintings uh, under frescoes that have been uh, um, detached or at the margin of drawings so yes there's a there's a real activity of this um, um, this practice which has been uh, long uh, silence but uh, which is very present also in the renaissance period and yes this fantastic piece by Bellini on one side and on the other side they are like kind of caricature and it's a series of uh, triptychs that were painted for uh, a church in Venice uh, Santa Maria della Carita and the four of these triptychs uh, that presents on the uh, recto uh, figures of saints uh, with a background of golden leaf uh, very uh, Character characteristic, sophisticated. Uh, sophisticated religious painting. On the back reveal a number of uh, drawings uh, made with charcoal, um, where we can see all uh, the graphic uh, play of uh, Bellini and his studios during the time of the creation of these works. And effectively we see uh, profiles that are can be portraits or proto-caricature, uh, grotesque figures, studies of uh, composition, uh, elements that we find also uh, in the sketchbooks of uh, the, uh, the studio of the, of the artist. And it's really fascinating because these uh, drawings tell us about something, about the, the, the temporality of the creations of the work of art without being uh, a preparatory drawing for the work of art. And if, if we speak about doodling becoming very serious, we have uh... Jean-Michel Basquiat and Cy Twombly. So you go, there's a big uh, bridge in the art history, right? Certainly uh, for uh, uh, Cy Twombly and uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat, uh, this uh, practice of drawing uh, was still uh, was still playing with the margin in a certain way. And uh, they tried, they worked, uh, especially Cy Twombly, to uh, undo um, uh, drawing in other forms and other ways of, of drawing. We have a, a series of drawings that come from, uh, they were made uh, between uh, 1953 and 1958, which show how uh, Tromley really worked to undo uh, the practice of drawing and to, um, for example, drawing uh, uh, without seeing in obscurity, and how this, uh, these experimentations come at the center of his artworks. And in a certain way, Basquiat is, is similar because um, it's really the urban space, so the graffiti in the urban space, which himself did um, in, in New York, that um, this, uh, this um, gesture, this violence of this graphic um, form that come to express in his, in his artworks. And uh, where crossing out becomes a way of uh, enhancing and uh, uh, asking to the spectator to look better and uh, to uh, to see also what is being put aside and to bring it at the center of his artworks merci mesdames